Welcome back to the Mekong Plus and Round Hoka channel. This is Hua from the Mekong River Commission. Let's start with the community news. From 13th to 16th October, heavy to very heavy rainfalls in the central of Vietnam caused serious flooding and landslides in Hue, Quảng Nam province, and Da Nang city. Flooding caused damage to structures and people properties. Affected economies and social activities, and thousands of people have been evacuated. It's forecasted that heavy rainfalls will continue to be complicated in these areas in the next following days. In Cambodia, heavy rainfalls occurred in southwest of Cambodia on 15 October, causing flooding along National Road Number Three in Kampong Spil Province. Now, let's move to the rainfall update of the Lower Mekong Basin. Over the past 24 hours, the northern part of Laos, the center of Cambodia, the 3S area, and the Mekong Delta expected moderate to heavy rainfall, ranging from 20 to over 60 mm. In the next seven days, the southern part of Laos and the southwestern part of Cambodia are expected to receive the highest total amount of rainfall in the lower Mekong Basin, with a total expected rainfall ranging from 150 to over 200 mm. The remaining areas expected to have light to moderate rainfall with a total accumulation of less than 100 mm. Let's move to the updates of flood situations in the Mekong River. Currently, water level of 22 stations are below the alarm level. However, the water level at Cần Thơ and Mỹ Thuận Station of Vietnam exceeded the flood level due to high tide. From 17 to 21st October, the water level from Chiang Seng to Nam Khai stations are expected to decrease slightly from 0.1 to 0.2 meter, while water level from Pak San to Tân Châu and Châu Độc Station are expected to increase from 0.3 to 1.2 meter. It's important to note that the water level at 22 stations along the mainstream are within the normal range, and the overall flood risk for these stations is low. The information provided here is meant for easy communication to the public. For more technical detail, please check our website and report. This concludes our forecast today. Remember to tune in every Monday to get the latest updates on the rainfall, water level, floods, and drought of the Mekong River. Goodbye for now.